My name is Tami Ichi. Uh, here in in the uh, I'm in the Uruwera at the uh, in the middle of the uh, the North Island, New Zealand, and uh, I come from a a population of uh, forty thousand Tuvoi people, uh, which um, twenty. Uh, 20%. I'm part of the 20% that live here in the nation of Tuhoi. Uh, the nation of Tuhoi is twice the size of Auckland and 25, 25 times bigger than New York City. Well, the, the, the Maori the Maori village is indigenous, uh, but they uh, to, 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 to where we use Tuhoi. So uh, as colonizers, as the colonizers, they came, they homogenized us, and they, they gave us rather than calling us all like a part of the all different nations. So they just called everybody like they all they were Maoris, but we're not all Maoris. We are part of the Maori of the Maori of the Maori organization, but we actually are various tribes within the, uh, the nation here in New Zealand. So I am a two or a children of the mist. Uh, we have um, uh, fought and uh, defend the rights of the Tuhoi people to be to to uh, to maintain his language and his culture, and to, uh, to, to bring it back to bring to bring about the um, the Uruwera, uh, that was under the uh, the crown for 170 years, and uh, that was only just uh, returned to us. Uh, last year. This tribe had been part of the um, of the resistant movement that uh, that, uh, that fought against the, the British um, at the British Empire uh, ever since that uh, they set foot here in this country in the 1800s in the early 1800s and they came here and um, and so we only dealt with those matters there um, uh, only last year and and last year that, that the crown uh, after nearly 170 years uh, we finally received respect and understanding from the crown from the government and so all right through the whole period of 170 years that there have been battles after battles or confrontations or throwing rocks at them and they're throwing rocks at us. They burn their houses down. They undermine the people of their basic human rights. And they have been for uh, well over 100 years to 100. And, uh, it took 170 years to grow to the states. And the Crown, they finally gave an, an apologies to that. Yes, uh, they have apologized to the genocide and the, and the murder. And uh, to the sportship policies, that the policy that they uh, implemented was um, uh, was illegal, and uh, so they, uh, they they finally gave that. Oh, I wouldn't say minority. Well, well maybe there, there, there was a huge participation in the movements in the seventies and eighties. The two part, well, the, you know, the, there was so there was a whole movement of people in this country, uh, the, the workers, the women, the indigenous people, right throughout here, uh, all of the, the Pacific people. So you you got to understand that New Zealand, Auckland, Auckland city is probably one of the largest Polynesian city in the world, and so uh, there was there was between the the, the 60s and the 70s was the uh, uh, a large population of the uh, of the Pacific uh, and, and migrated here to this part to to, to New Zealand. Um, it, it wasn't really a popular action. The activism, our activism of the 70s, 60s, and 70s, was not a, a popular move, and always considered it to be somebody standing on the side there and making too much noise. Or somebody who uh, they 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 considered to be uh, either partly mad or mental, 
And um, so you are subjected to all of those um, verbal abuse. Uh, the, the the media itself wasn't very supportive about, about it. And in fact, they are part and parcel of the system to undermine those people who make the stance. And uh, so I'm I'm just one of the many other people that are participated. Well, we believe that uh, we have the right to make a stance and to, to get our voice heard. The voice of the people need to be heard. I, I think that I, um, I, I remember at the age of eight and uh, when, the, when the principal of the school have uh, made an announcement at school that I will not allow you to speak Māori on my school grounds. If you continue to speak Māori on my school ground, you will remain after school and, and be punished. So uh, we thought that um, uh, that, that was a, li a little bit ridiculous and um, stupid. And uh, so we thought that we... Uh, uh, so I look at my mates and beside me and many others, uh, we we just we decided to chase his... Um, uh, is authority and uh, and to see what what will happen and then we uh, we were given the choice of uh, writing um, 100 lines I will not speak Maori on the blackboard or picking horse manure and uh, and um, so um, yeah I, I would I would have written um, I, I was 18 so I would have written thousands or thousands of that and started smelling like a horse and uh, so that that would be probably my first experience with other with other with other people around me uh, at that age and um and took that stance at, at a very early age well i think we've never been in a, in a bit of i mean the apologies was a huge um it's a it's a huge thing, I guess, for them. It's for the government to admit to the fact that they that they they they, they actually weird to weird as to, I mean, what is an apology? Is an apology something like, oh, we 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 didn't mean to kill your people, we didn't mean to do that, we didn't mean to kill blah 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 blah, and the, on the date, and so they actually had to name each individual. That uh, they've been affected, and so that, that's a huge thing for the for the government, for any government to 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 admit to the um, you know to their wrongs, and, and I guess so. And, and I think that after hearing that, for the people after hearing that, uh, is 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 a huge thing for them. And so it's just the beginning of the of the healing process. The first thing was the return of of the Uruera. The early word I mentioned before is twice the size of Auckland, 25 times bigger than uh, New York City. And so that's the first time after 170 years I've been given back. So we, we're in a much better position. I would say that um, uh, now we have a political voice. That the, the Maori Party, probably one of the one and only indigenous uh, political party in mainstream here in this part of the world. You don't have to be a member of any political party to be in politics. Uh, politics is something, it's an everyday thing. You, you've got to make a decision as to uh, where do you flush your toilets and where does the waste go to. You need to know where they're going to. At that time, they're not going down to somebody else's backyard. So we got, you, you've got to have a plan. So you always have to be, so we had to make those decisions and making those plans. And so politics, in, in my view, doesn't necessarily have to be a member of a particular of a particular mainstream political party. So politics, in, in my view, is, is an everyday occurrence that we are make decision. To me, that's a political decision. We make a decision as to where we stand and how we do things. I'm sitting here in the office where you see me right at this very moment. Uh, this uh, building here is, is about is a fifteen million New Zealand dollars, a fifteen million dollar project. Uh, so, so you this is an indication of uh, where we're moving on to. Well, it's the money that come from us that can give us the money. It's their own money, the money that they owe us. So that part that that is a part and partial of the settlement. 
Yes. Uh, the, the quantum came up to about $170 million. So the point I'm saying is that it's a really important point to be sitting on the table uh, and not throwing rocks at each other. But I think you know, we're in a bit of position today to be able to do that.